Hey guys, so I wanted to share this with you guys. As you can see, Oreo is very hungry. He hadn't eaten in a few hours, it seems, and I'll tell you the reason why. I stayed up until 4 a.m. because I couldn't go to sleep and I realized that Oreo's uh, bathroom issues was getting a little worse. So I did some research and I saw a post on Reddit where someone had said that they were driving themselves crazy trying to figure out why their cat was so allergic to certain foods and they went down the list. Long story short, they realized what was causing their cat's problem was the cat was allergic to plastic. So they were storing their food in a plastic container similar to this one. And because the food was in the container, the cat got um, had some stomach problems. So they went ahead and they started feeding them straight from the bag and the stomach problems went away. Today I made it my mission to get rid of all the plastic um, ice cube trays that I had here that you might have seen. And I had that because I didn't want the cats to overeat. And it seemed to help um, quite a bit with their puking issue. They still were throwing up but it was much less than before. I know, I know. I also got rid of the, I was scooping their food with plastic. I got a wooden spoon and I'm trying to make sure that everything that they eat from is from ceramic or metal and that's it. Now, Oreo could not adjust to this change. I put his water bowl much further, maybe about four inches away, he was confused. He would circle the water bowl as if he was going to drink, look inside, and then walk away. <laughs> and he did this for about 30 minutes until he finally realized he could drink. Now, I heard Oreo crying to me about five minutes ago, and I couldn't understand why he was crying at me because he had food. And it dawned on me, he did not realize he could eat from the bowls. So I had to put the bowl of food right in front of his face. And I think something clicked that he could eat. So you just saw Oreo and he just had a late meal because he finally summed up the courage or he had the awareness that there's food inside of the bowl. Yes, this bowl. So I brought this bowl over to him and I, I shook it. And he finally ate it. Oh, I don't get it. But I'm hoping this will solve the issue. I'm thinking there is a small chance he might have a sensitivity to plastic. So no more storing his food in plastic for the time being. And I'm going to see if that clears it up. I'm, I'm also going to post in the description the post that I saw where this person was driving themselves crazy uh, trying to figure out what was wrong with the cat and I found out it was a cat allergy. It's actually not that uncommon, I found out. So when cats have uh, stomach issues, the vet will usually ask them things like, oh, are you feeding your cat um, in a plastic container or a plastic bowl? And they request to change it over to metal and ceramic. So yeah, that's my new setup. I think Oreo will finally got it today that, hey, there's food in these bowls and there's water in this bowl. Okay, Clinton, you want to show them that there's food in there? I know you can do it, Clinton. Oh, jeez. <laughs> it's a big change. It's a big change over here. Very big change. Oh, what are you doing? Oh, gosh. Oreo scratching the couch, even though the scratching post is right next to the couch. Oreo! You get it now, huh? So there's food and water over there, okay? Your water bowl is over here, and your food bowl is over here. Oreo! Oreo! He's like walking away. I think he's mad at me. I think he's mad at me because I changed his setup. But it should be healthier, and hopefully everything is... Oreo. Hopefully everything is okay. I just wanted to share that with you guys. In the event that you do have a cat that has digestive problems, try and feed them straight from the bag and um, reduce the plastic that they're 
eating from or if the food container is plastic. We'll see if this makes a difference. I'll keep you guys updated. See ya.